Good morning, Blue Devils. I'm Brayden. And I'm Novi. The holidays are right around the corner, so we're preparing for them early this year. I know for me, I have several presents to wrap. I don't know about you, but I always have trouble wrapping those pesky gifts. If you are anything like me, do we have a segment for you? Man, I can't do this. Rio, how do I wrap a present? <laughs> With the holidays coming up, you're going to need to wrap some presents. And I've noticed that a lot of people don't know how to wrap a present. So let me show you how. First off, you need to understand what you're wrapping. If it has round sides or it's oddly proportioned, it's probably not going to wrap too well. It's easier to wrap things like a box since it has all four, six flat sides. So first, you're going to need to lay some wrapping paper down. Once you lay it out, you're going to section off how big your box is and judge from there. This is a pretty small box. I don't need that much. In fact, I might be cutting too much. So now you have your piece cut. You can throw the roll wherever. You're going to take it. I have a lot of excess. I'm going to cut it because you do not need this much. Sweet, this is perfect. So now, it's wrapping the present incredibly easy. You're gonna take one side, fold it over. Take a little bit of tape, and put some on there. Now, you're gonna take the other half and do exactly the same. So, now that you have those sides taped up, for the other sides, you're gonna have to fold it the top a bit down, try and get this triangular shape and crease it, make sure it's nice and flat. Do the exact same on this side. So now that you have these sides, you're gonna take it one side and fold it again to get another triangular kind of shape. I don't know how to describe it. You could see it. And then do the same on the other side. Now you're gonna do the exact same to the other side. And there you go, nice and wrapped. Now you can give your present to someone and watch your hard work be torn apart. Due to the speed at which I have to produce these videos, and the fact that I knew this would be airing around the holidays, I chose the topic again. However, next episode should be based off your suggestions by scanning the QR code right here. Thank you for watching. Now you can wrap those presents without any excuse. Let's switch things up with some exercise. During those cold and winter months, what can you do indoors? How about looking into volleyball? Let's see what Marcel has discovered at the gym. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the second episode of Athletes Coach. I'm Marcellus Hines, and I'm here with Tanner Sullivan. And he's going to teach me how to pass a volleyball. The first step to passing a volleyball is getting your feet set. Shuffle to where the ball is going and set your feet underneath the ball. The next step is to get your arms ready to pass. Place one hand over the other, and then extend your arms and lock your elbows. The final step is to keep your arms strong and pass the ball up. Make sure you pass the ball off of the platform of your arms and don't swing your arms. If you do everything properly, it should look like this. Approved! 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 Thank you guys for watching. Tanner, how do you think I did on a scale from one to 10? I'll give you a three. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. <laughs> Seems like Tanner has a real passion for volleyball. Now it's time for a food review. This segment takes you to a delicious spot in White Oak. Let's see how Jano feels about the new selection at Wingstop.
What's going on everybody? It's Jeno Martin here back with the second episode of Richmond Reviews and today we'll be reviewing Wing Stop. You know, Rose Rick Ross. So in this episode I'm gonna be trying the new not kinda what's kinda new, the new chicken sandwich that they have. Because I still haven't had it yet. I, I might be a little late, but you know why I do this. I review so you don't have to. They took like 25 minutes and our stuff was, our ticket wasn't even up in the thing. You know, it's okay though. I'm gonna I'm give them the benefit of the doubt because I know this food's about to slap. So what we got, we got the, so this is what I ordered. You know, we ordered the, the two, can you see that? Lemon pepper sandwiches. You know, I heard that was the best one. Um, yeah, we're gonna check that out. But it, they was playing some good music up in there. They had some. Yeah, some 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 sports on. Also, this is my special guest, my boy man? Donovan. So, what you think about the inside, man? The inside, man, it was cool. You know what I'm saying? It was cool. It did take a long time for the food though, which I didn't like that. I didn't like that. Either. But you know, the inside was cool. I, I, it was a vibe. I agree. I agree. What I don't want to use. Hold up. Before I eat the sandwich, pickle test. Get a little pickle off of here. Not, it is not bad, so pickle test. I'll be honest, some pickles are mid, but I'm still eating them. It's part of the sandwich, so without further ado, let's take a bite out of this beautiful, beautiful looking sandwich. Mm. Wow. I'm gonna lie, that jump. I don't want to hit that, that sandwich is delicious, man. Hey, yo, how you finish that fast, bro? Hmm? How you finish that fast, bro? Was it good, bro? Mm -hmm. I can tell. <laughs> oh, honestly, I was thinking about getting some of the other flavors. Not today. But if you want to try other flavors of these sandwiches, then you should click on the QR code at the end of this video to leave a suggestion of what you want to see. Because I'm going to try any one of these that y'all want to see me try, because this is amazing. Wingstop was definitely amazing. Out of five chicken bones, I think I'm going to rate this a four out of five total for the whole Wingstop experience. If you guys want to see me review more things, make sure you scan that QR code and suggest your favorite places for me to review. Thanks, guys. Did you know that chickens have great memories and can recognize over 100 faces? That's just one mini fact. If you thought that it was interesting, here's some Christmas themed trivia to get your spirits bright. Welcome to the Random Facts Trivia Show. I'm here to talk about some of your favorite Christmas traditions. Mariah Carey's hit song, All I Want For Christmas Is You, is one of the most popular Christmas songs ever recorded. What year was the song released? The answer is 1994. Exchanging gifts is a huge Christmas tradition with 94% of Americans intending to buy gifts this year. How much money do you believe was spent on Christmas gifts last year? The answer is 886.7 billion US dollars. The tallest Christmas tree in history was Douglas Fir, which was decorated in Northgate Shopping Mall in Seattle, Washington in 1950. How tall do you think the Christmas tree was? The answer is 221 feet. That's all from me. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to VHS Devil's Advocate. That was our last segment of the day. Wait, one second. We have one more second for you. Please do not go anywhere. Good morning, Verona, and welcome to the first episode of the Manic Minigame series. Today's game will consist of three players frantically trying to move around as quietly as possible in a confined area. 
I will try to listen closely for their movements, and if I tag them with the Nerf Blaster, they will be eliminated. The last player standing will take home the win. Round one. Thank you all for watching today's episode of the Manic Mini Game Series. As we saw, Ben Blakely took home the gold and earned himself three points in the series, while the other two players followed behind him, with Jano Martin getting the silver and two points, and Marcellus Hines getting the bronze and one point. Stay tuned for the next episode of Manic Mini Games. I'm your host, Tanner Sullivan. We hope you enjoyed our show. Don't forget to tell us what your favorite segment was in the comments. If you're interested in watching more content, then you can follow us at VHS Devils Advocate on YouTube. I'm Brayden. And I'm Noby. Enjoy your Friday and your holidays, Blue Devils.